Jake here for American Muscle, and today I'm taking a look at the Raxium LED taillights with the black housing and red lenses for 2008 to 2014 Challengers. The Challenger's signature rear light bar has been a fixture of the automotive landscape for some time now, but if you're looking for a way to modernize and change up that rear fascia, then these taillights by Raxium are going to appeal to you. They combine slick modern looks with LED technology for a nice subtle facelift to your car's lighting performance and overall style. If you've got a 2008-2014 Challenger and you're looking for a way to bring some of that style from the newer cars to your driveway, then these are going to be just the ticket. Here we've got that famous racetrack style lighting treatment featuring an all LED setup. Shining through those lenses are diffused LED lights that illuminate the whole outer area for a really bright, really cool look when you turn the running lights on or hit the brakes. Now these also feature sequential turn signals. I love a good set of sequential turn signals myself, but they are not to everybody's taste. So if that's not your speed, you do have the option to disable them and put them in a full on, full off setting. The LEDs continue through the center here for your reverse lights as well, giving you a really bright, powerful beam to light up anything that might be behind you. And again, since this is all LEDs, there's no need to worry about replacing bulbs or trying to get something brighter. These are gonna last a long time and they're gonna be much brighter than your factory incandescent bulbs. And that also means that you're gonna be more easily seen when you're out on the road, especially in the dark. Now, construction here is comprised of durable ABS plastic housings finished in that gloss black gives you a bit of a stealthy look, and again, is reminiscent of the rear treatment on newer Challengers. The lenses here are your typical polycarbonate, and they are red in this application, so it's gonna give you a bit more of that OEM Plus style of setup. These look almost factory, but with enough difference that people will definitely take notice. Now, each section is also weather sealed to protect the bulbs and electronics against dirt and moisture, making for an even more worry-free setup. And they are also DOT and SAE compliant, making them fully street legal. Now pricing here is gonna come in at around $800. Not exactly inexpensive, but you are getting quite a bit for your money here, and they far undercut the price of an OEM piece. Plus, you get the ease and the benefits associated with LEDs, an updated look, and an easy application, so I definitely call these a win. When it comes to install, these are gonna get a one out of three on our difficulty meter, and they should only take you about an hour to get them installed. Nothing too fancy needed here, just a little bit of time and some common hand tools, though you are gonna have to do a tiny bit of crimping and splicing. Nothing too advanced, we show you exactly how to do that. And on that note, let's head over to the install bay and show you what's what. The tools you're gonna need for this install include an electric or regular 3 8 ratchet, a clip removal tool, a 3 8 a quarter inch adapter, a quarter inch extension, a T20 torque socket, included scotch lock connector or male and female ends, a wire stripper and crimper, and Phillips and flathead screwdrivers. What's up guys? Today we're gonna to be installing a set of tail lights on our Challenger, but before we get started, you're gonna watch a short video on how to uninstall your stock tail lights, and I'll meet you back here for the install. All right, first step for the uninstall of our factory tail lights, we're gonna start with our center bar here. Pop your trunk. We have four twist off knobs that we have next to our trunk liner we have to get off, and then two bump stops in the middle. All right, these you can just do by hand. You don't need any tool for so I'm just gonna twist these guys straight off. And I'm just gonna set them inside of our trunk for safekeeping. All right, for these bump stops, grab a panel removal tool. You're gonna peel up, pull up on the middle, just like that, and then go up underneath of it and pull that out in one piece. All right, do the same thing for both. All right, now if you look at the corner here, your Challenger may have a little black plastic trim here that you need to remove. Ours does not, but if yours does, grab a panel removal tool and just pop that guy off to expose this torque screw underneath. Now you have a Phillips head for reference here. Go right on the inside, right on the colored panel there, and you should be able to see that. Grab a T20 Torx bit. I'm gonna use an impact gun, but a ratchet works as well, and just get that off. You just wanna safely bring that down. All right, repeat on the other side. Now we can firmly pull off the center section. You'll wanna lift up on both sides, just like that pull that straight up. 
Now there is still one wire harness right here that we need to pinch and disconnect. So what you'll do is just pinch that, disconnect it, set the center section aside. All right, so now we can focus on the taillight section instead of the center. Now on the outside here, you have one plastic panel you gotta pull off, so you're just gonna pull firmly off of that. There's just two metal clips on the inside. We're gonna set that aside. Now we can focus on the inside of that. All right, so on the inside, we have another one of those little uh, twist knobs we can do by hand, so let's get that guy off. And now we can peel back that carpeting. All right, so underneath of that carpet liner, we have another one of those twist tabs, so we're gonna twist that off as well. And then right past that, is our tail light harness, so just pinch and disconnect. All right, just like that. There is a red locking tab here that you can push off to the side. All right, so on the outside, pull that back. It's free, repeat on the other side. All right guys, so before we install our new tail lights, we have to swap over this plastic trim piece that also holds in the trunk latch. And there are six Phillips head screws that we have to remove. And also in the instructions, it explains that you need to cut these two wires that power the trunk latch. And to reconnect them onto the new taillights, you have to use this scotch lock connector, which you put one wire all the way through and the other one halfway through. And then you fold this tab over and lock it in place. But in our case, we'll be using a more reusable feature, so we'll be using the male and female connectors just so we can make it a little easier. So now we can remove these six screws to reveal our trim panel. To remove these connectors. Pry back on these two tabs that are on each side. And now we can transfer this over to our new tail light. All right, guys, so now we have our factory trim piece and our new tail light. We have to come up here to our connector. These two stray wires are for the trunk latch. So the black wire will be going to the black and green wire, and this yellow will be going to the brown and green wire. So in our case, like I said, you could use the scotch lock connector, but in our case, we're gonna be using uh, the male and female connector. So I'm gonna take our wire stripper, we're gonna strip off a little bit of the end, Gonna twist that up so it doesn't fray when we go into the connector. So now we can take our female end and we're gonna put it through the part where there's just a circle. Gonna slide that through. Then on the same tool, we're gonna use the crimper part and crimp right down in the middle. I personally like to do it on both sides to make sure that it is tight. Now we're gonna repeat that same process for the yellow wire. Good. Now that that's out of the way, we can attach our trim piece onto the tail light. Get this up here. There's these tabs on the bottom of the trim piece that are gonna slide into these little slots that are on the side. And get this lined up. You'll start hearing them fall into place. And on the side, there is just two little hooks that if you give it a push, you'll hear them snap into place. We'll bring this back down, take our screwdriver and our screws, and we can start tightening these six down.
move over to the other side. Spread that in by hand first. All right, so now that our trim piece is on our new tail light, we can make our connections. So our black with the female end is gonna go on the black and green with the male end. Same for the yellow. Yellow will be on the green and brown. So now we can get this on the vehicle. All right, so next step, we're gonna be installing the middle part of the tail light. First thing we're gonna do is make our connection with the factory connector. Set this down. Make our connection until you hear the click. I'm gonna grab our wires. Kinda keep them tucked out of the way. Now we can get those studs lined up in the hole. I'm gonna lift this up. Just trying to keep this tucked out of the way. So before we fully tighten down the middle part of the tail light, we have to install the side lights first. So we're gonna take this connector and the large connector and put it through the square here. So now we're gonna feed the sequential wire through that square. Then we're gonna feed that connector also through the same square hole. Make sure we pull both of those through. Then we can line up our studs into the factory locations. Connect our tail light. I'm gonna press that in until you hear a click. Then you're gonna press in that red tab. We're gonna leave that dangle. Then we're gonna grab a thumb nut and tighten down the far stud first. Then we're going to grab our sequential light wire and just push that off to the side because we're going to have to run that through the cover of the trunk. So now we can peel up our carpet here. And we're going to line this hole in the carpet up with the stud. Then we can tighten down that other thumb nut. Like so. Then we're gonna route our sequential wires up through the side here. Now we can reinstall this trim cover about here. And from this point, you can repeat that process on the other side. So now we can grab a clip removal tool and we're gonna remove this clip here and up here. There we go. Now we can grab our sequential wires. I'm gonna tuck that up and under. And while it's there, and slide that clip right back in. Now from here, we can lift up on our middle tail light and grab that red and black connector like here. Once you've found your red and black connector, we're gonna connect the sequential to the red and black. Now we're gonna tuck this off to the side making sure that it doesn't make any contact with your studs. Try to balance that on both sides. Now 
Come on to this side real quick. So now once you have your side lights wired up to your middle light, we're gonna peel our cover back on. Making sure the emergency latch is in its place. Turn that around. Now we can take our thumb nuts and thread and tighten these down onto all four. Now that that's in place, you're gonna grab your two large clips. They're gonna go in these two holes. Now we can come on to both sides and we're gonna tighten down our two Torx bolts. So now we can install our two smaller push clips that will go in to hold up our cover. Press that in. Same for this side. Now we can go ahead and install the two Torx bolts on the sides of each of the trunk. So that's gonna wrap up the install on our Raxium LED taillights with black housings and clear lenses for your 08 to 14 Challenger. Thanks for watching and for all things Challenger, keep it right here at AmericanMuscle.com.